sorry about that, my friend. Once again, my squirrely exuberance got the best of me and caused untold heartache. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> you can open your eyes now, Benjamin. We're on the ground. Uh, uh, I knew that. Um, I was just doing an extra long blink. The radishes are gone. The radish robber must have followed us here too. I say we could hold our breath, dive to the bottom of the river and eat our radishes there. Or I know a perfect spot at Hilltop Farm. We should tie it to a bird and eat it in the sky. Ooh, we should bury it until next summer. Hey, huh? what if we just, you know, eat it right now? Brilliant! Yay, radish time! I tell you what, though, if I ever get my paws on whoever took our radishes, there'll be a... 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 furry? <gasps> Mr Todd! <laughs> Three little rabbits out in the woods all alone? You shouldn't sneak up like that. I'm a fox. Sneaking is sort of what I do. Oh, and what's this? A radish? Mmm. I am quite keen on the peppery flavour of raffinous sativus, as it happens. Maybe he's the radish robber. Ah, oh, <gasps> come, come, Peter Rabbit. Even your father never tried to outfox a fox. Dad's secret escape. Good old Dad. Very well, Mr Todd. Ugh. You may have captured our last radish, but you won't catch us. Yeah! Yeah! Ah, well, the main dish may have escaped, but the salad is intact. <laughs> Cheer up. We'll just get more radishes from Mr McGregor's tomorrow. Hey, can you smell that? <laughs> it can't be. It is! Radish, Radish soup. soup! That's right. Little Cottontail brought them home. She just found them lying around in the woods. <laughs> our radishes? You, you, you've been taking all our radishes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well done, Cottontail. Good scavenging. Much less dangerous than, say, taking them from Mr. McGregor's garden. <laughs> <laughs> so, how do you like your first taste of radishes? Wait! Why are you so jumpy today, Peter? It's that rat, Sammy Whiskers. Every time something goes missing, he just happens to be there. I think he's lucky. Every time he finds something, someone gives him a sweet treat as a reward. That's because it's a con. A plot. A scheme to get treats. Ah. Maybe we should try that. Stop worrying, Peter. We're going to go to the party and have fun. Oh, I can't wait till Mrs Puddle Duck's egg hatches. Come on. Hatches, hmm? <laughs> Imagine if something that precious went missing. Oh, think of the sweet reward I'll get when I find it. <laughs> oh, so exciting. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing. Well, Jemima dear, what's the latest? Do I hear the widdle waddle of duckling feet yet? Oh, not yet, Mrs. Tiggywinkle, but my egg will hatch soon. Oh, I just know it. Now, if you'll all excuse me, I really must check on my darling egg. Mr. Fisher is going to play some music, aren't you? Oh, we couldn't have asked for a lovelier day, could we? <laughs> I'm telling you, if one more thing goes missing oh. today... Oh! Oh, my egg has gone! Oh, oh dear! Oh, dear! Oh, please, oh. try not to worry. Oh, oh, that rat took it. I told you, I've got to stop him. <laughs> you stay there, my beauty. 
Soon I'll pretend I found you and get my reward. <laughs> Aha! Caught you. You've been stealing things all along. Mrs. Puddle Duck's worried sick. Give me that egg back. Just get, get, get back, <gasps> you middling rabbit. Or else I'll ah. eat this egg right now. <gasps> you wouldn't dare. Try me. Fine. <laughs> I'll just go and tell everyone what you've been doing. No one will give you any cakes then. Get back here, you... Oh, no, no, he's going to blow my whole scheme. Aha. What do we have here? A duck egg for lunch? Yes, that will do nicely. What to do? What to do? Don't worry, Mrs Tiggy Winkle. I'll get it. Mm -hmm. A good rabbit never gives up. Peter, oh. you can't go in there. What about Mr Todd? How very curious. Where did this toothsome titbit come from? Oh, drat. Who can that be? What's that? Who's there? Show yourself. Well, well. Peter Rabbit. What better way to follow a nice egg than with rabbit stew? Ah, this belongs to Mrs. Puddle Duck, and you're not having egg or rabbit for dinner. No, uh, hey! Come back! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that! Safe and sound. Yeah, you did it! Oh. Oh. We'll get it! Oh. We'll get it! Somebody really ought to look after that egg. Lucky I left my egg in safe hands. <laughs> hey! <laughs> huh? Peter? <laughs> Whoa! What's going on? Oh, you are right, Lily. You do have to be alert and patient and careful when you're egg sitting. Come on! Everyone, move back. Very, very slowly. It was my job to look after that egg. And that's what I'm going to do. Nearly there. This day just can't get any worse. Rain? Umbrella. <laughs> I take it back, Peter. You're a brilliant egg sitter. Thanks. Now, time we got this egg back. And it keeps the rain off too. Whoa! <laughs> thank you, Peter. Thank you, thank you. Oh, what a helpful rabbit you are. There's something in my just in case pocket. Just in case. Acorn, envelope, spoon, mitten, ball of string. I don't see how this is going to. Wait a second. Lily, that's it. String! It looks just like a worm! Exactly! We'll still deliver the worms, just not the way Tommy Brock expected. Let's hop to it! Pick a pine cone. Any pine cone. Oh, why should I? Ah! Whoa! Uh, not a magic fan? Uh, no problem. How about singing? I'm pretty good at that. La 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 la! Oh, enough! <laughs> Your friends aren't coming back. And if I'm not going to have my worms, then at least I can have. I can have. I know. 
Some nice new fluffy slippers. Uh, uh, oh, of course. Why didn't you say? I'll just run to the shop and... Uh, uh, I'm the slippers, aren't I? Anyone for worms? Oh, I don't believe it. Please believe it. Give him here. No way. You let the... Benjamin go first. But... That was the deal. Oh, all right, all right. He'd hardly make one decent slipper anyway. Now, put the bucket down and get out of here. I like to eat alone. Lunch for one, coming right up. See you around, Tommy Brock. <laughs> Where are you, you fluffy little? Huh? Tommy Brock? Where did you get that bucket? Made the rabbits collect worms for me. And you think you're clever. <laughs> Oh, you nincompoop. Those aren't worms. It's string. You've been tricked. String, eh? Ha! <laughs> nice try. But you can't fool me. Those are worms. Now give them back. Aha! Rabbits. No, oh, I think you can spill my lunch and get away with it. Come back here, Mr. Todd! No! So, you tricked a brainless badger out of his lunch. Well, nothing gets in the way of my lunch. You spilt my lunch. Time to get them paws dirty, Mr. Todd, and dig me up some worms to eat. Oh, confounded worms. This is impossible. <laughs> Oi, less chat and more worm catching, thank you. <laughs> hey, Mr. Todd, try acting like a bird. It really helps. <laughs> oh, those little troublemakers. Well, I don't know about you, poor flightless fools, but I'm going out the chimney. <laughs> oh, tail feathers, it's been blocked. Oh, we're trapped. Well, if we're stuck in here, I reckon I'll have myself a snooze. Ooh. Oh, you clumsy oaf! My tea table! Tea table? What kind of hunter has a tea Ooh. table, I ask you? My best china! Both of you, stop it! You're wrecking the place! First my table, then my china. Why don't you just knock the walls down and be done with it? Not the walls, but perhaps the door. You're a squawking old feather duster. Feather duster, am I? Yes, you heard me. You uh, couldn't peck your way out of a wet paper uh, bag. And as for you, you smelly old uh, carpet, you couldn't barge your way out of a balloon. Uh, 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 wonderful. Uh, you are a strong pair of fellows, and now we're free. Free to get those rabbits! Mm -hmm. These radishes are delicious, Peter. You know, I'm actually starting to relax and enjoy this picnic. And it's much more peaceful than I'd imagined. They like it here. The plan's working. That's right, Dr. Bobtail. It's a beautiful, undangerous place. Look at the grass, look at the trees, look at the sky. And back to the grass again. Oh no, it's all brown. We've got to get my parents out of here. <laughs> Did anyone hear that? I'm bored here. Let's go somewhere else. <laughs> Who's up for picking some blackberries? Uh, that sounds like a good idea. Yes, that does sound nice. What? Blackberries? Why would we want to get blackberries? <clears throat> oh, I get it. Ah, I know where there's some extra juicy blackberries. Come on, everyone. Uh, maybe we should stay here, Peter. I'm not sure it's safe elsewhere. I'd say it's even safer somewhere else. 
Look at that! Before we came to this valley, we had to buy blackberries at the shop. And now, here they are, ripe for the taking. Oh, I do like this place. No sign of him. If that shrew catches us, he's going to be really angry. These dandelions are for everyone. He's just got to learn to share. <laughs> Lily, get down! No, I'm not hiding anymore. It's silly. Shh, he'll hear you. I don't care. I'm not scared of a nasty little shrew. Neither am I. If you're not scared, then why were you creeping around? It's more fun that way. Yeah, more fun. <gasps> so, we all agree, none of us are scared. Hands off my dandelions! <laughs> Come back here! Give me back my dandelions! <laughs> oh, this isn't over! <laughs> <laughs> that was close! <laughs> Sounds like you've been having fun. Do I want to know what you've been up to? Uh... <laughs> I didn't think so. I'm taking some vegetable stew over to Mr. Bouncer. Can you watch Cottontail while I'm gone? Okay. We'll have dinner when I get back, so don't fill up on, oh, I don't know, dandelions? We won't. Uh, I mean, uh, what dandelions? All right, then. Peter, you're in charge. Keep an eye on Cottontail. <laughs> <laughs> Cottontail. Please. Sorry, maybe later. I'll teach them to eat my dandelions. Uh, did you just hear something? Yeah, my tummy. It's hungry. You'll spoil your appetite. Although, I suppose just one couldn't hurt. Ha hey! <laughs> oh boy, they're in trouble now. I can't wait to see their faces. I want my dandelions back and I want them now. You've taken too many. I only have exactly 1,073 dandelions left and another thing. Uh, uh, oh, is Peter Rabbit home? Oh. Well, what are you looking at? Pretty sure. Oh, oh, hey, hey, get off! What are you doing? Hey, they can keep the dandelions and let me go! Ah! Oh, ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! It's okay, Benjamin. It, it's only thunder. I know. Whoa! All right, you three. Let's warm you up with some soup. Wow! What a storm! Uh, that was me this time. <laughs> <laughs> Storm's over. Come on. <gasps> what a mess! <gasps> Look, familiar. It's from our treehouse. What's it doing all the way over here? We'd better go and check it out. Oh, no! <gasps> Our tree house! <gasps> All my drawings are gone. Ah, oh, the telescope's missing too. It's completely wrecked. <sighs> It'll be OK, Benjamin. Hopping <laughs> hazelnuts! You guys really need to take better care of your treehouse. It was the storm, Nutkin. 
Storm? Where? I love storms. Sorry, it's already happened. Oh, I guess I slept through it. Hey, that explains why I woke up next to this. Our telescope! There must be pieces of our treehouse all over the woods. <gasps> Look, Tommy Brock's got some of our roof. Do you know what else is missing? Your dad's sign. <gasps> oh. oh, no! What are we going to do? There's only one thing to do. We're going to find every single piece of our treehouse, starting with that roof. Let's hop to it. Ha! How oh, I do love the wind. It blows things around. Up the pieces I find on the ground. Huh? Rabbits! Get off my tin! No can do, Mr Brock. This tin belongs to us. Isn't that right, Benjamin? Yes. I mean, uh... <clears throat> yes. I don't care. <laughs> it's mine now. Sorry, but our treehouse needs its roof back. I don't know how we're going to get out of this one, Peter. Neither do I. But a good rabbit never gives up. Don't let them eat my cake. Or me. <laughs> Lily, whistle as loud as you can. Quick! Uh, okay. <laughs> go, go! <laughs> ha! You thought some loud whistle would stop us? That really takes the cake. And so do I. Get them! <laughs> What's all that whistling, Mr. Mr. McGregor? <laughs> a clever plan, Peter. I didn't know why he wanted me to whistle at first, but then I did whistle and that brought out Mr. McGregor and Sammy was like, ah, run away! <laughs> Genius. Uh, I'll stop talking now. Good, because there's still one tiny little problem. Bravo! <gasps> out of the garden. Not if every way out is blocked by someone who wants to eat us. Then we'll just have to get them to move, won't we? This is bad. This is very bad. Just be ready to trap them under here when I lead them to you. OK, Peter. Wait, did he just say, lead them to us? Oh, a worm. Mm. No. Getting hungry? No. Yes, maybe. What's it to you? Oh, I was just thinking what a shame it is that when Mr McGregor catches us, you won't get to eat us. Oh, yeah. I suppose that's true. And rabbits go so well with worms, too. Oh, a nice big juicy one. Give it here. You want it? Come and get it. <laughs> ah! 